Welcome to the UK's busiest container port. At Felixstowe in the south of England, three million containers a year are brought in on some of the biggest ships in the world. Safely manoeuvring these giant vessels in this packed waterway is vital. And currently the only way to do this is with the help of GPS. GPS uses fleets of satellites orbiting high above the Earth. They're constantly beaming information about their exact position and time. And when your GPS receiver sees at least three of these satellites, it can do a series of calculations to determine your exact location. But the system is vulnerable. The satellite signals are weak. Particles hurled out from the sun can knock it offline. Or worse, the service can be deliberately blocked. South Korea has had first-hand experience of this. Their receivers have been jammed by North Korea on a number of occasions, causing chaos. I've come on board the Galatea off England's east coast to see what would happen if GPS fails. One by one, critical instruments start to go. It's instantly clear just how reliant vessels like this are on GPS. You can, you can imagine being a standing watch on this ship. It's the middle of the night, it's dark, it's foggy, you're on your own, you're in the English Channel, and this sort of thing happens. What do you do? So you're in a mess, basically. You're in a real mess, yeah. With all these alarms going off, you really get a sense of the chaos that there would be on the bridge were GPS to go down. But unbelievably, until now, there's been no backup, no plan B, absolutely nothing you could do. However, this ship has been at the centre of a major effort to change this. This film will show you some of the techniques used in Loran. And surprisingly, it involves some technology developed during the Second World War. The Long Range Navigation System, or Loran for short, was the brainchild of US scientists. It used long-range radio waves to guide America's military ships as battles raged in the Pacific. And it was later adopted by mariners all around the world. Now it's making a comeback. Rebranded as Eloran, the infrastructure has been upgraded to increase its accuracy, making it an ideal backup. Unlike GPS, the Eloran system operates on terra firma, using three radio transmitters to accurately calculate a vessel's position. It's almost impossible to tamper with. The neat thing is this. The radio frequencies on which Eloran transmits are completely different from those of GPS. The power levels are very strong. Everything that matters is different, so there's no common mode of failure. But the result you get is a plug-and-play replacement for GPS. The darker blue dot on there for position in which there's a GPS, the uh, lighter blue position there is the Eloran. When I remove the GPS feed, which is simulating the failure of GPS, the outline of the vessel should jump to the Eloran to use that for positioning. Seven UK ports are the first in the world to have a fully working Eloran system, and South Korea, Russia and China are installing their own versions. But there's a question mark over whether it can go global. The US, Norway and France are busy decommissioning the radio towers. There may be choppy waters ahead, but the world will be watching to see what happens as this safety net is put to the test. Rebecca.